All right, I got, I got one for you. So uh, it's, it's become popular in recent years in Silicon Valley to think about full stack startups where, um, and what I mean by that is instead of just using the internet and selling a new technology to a provider, kind of an end, uh, an end provider, to actually full stack own that whole experience. If you have something very differentiated, don't convince other people and sell it, just be that end touch point. Uh, so I think like Open Door would be a, a classic example of this, where instead of building kind of a housing marketplace, they're actually touching the end consumer with the housing, you know, with the buying and the selling of it. Um, that's sort of a canonical example. How do you think about the interfaces where Boom should live? Should it, you know, it's an airplane manufacturer, much in the same way that maybe like a Boeing or an Airbus would be, but should you or will you eventually move to be more of a full stack provider of transportation experiences? Yeah, so should we be full stack? Um, it, the, there's a very interesting history on this in the industry. Um, so uh, Boeing and United Airlines and United Technologies, uh, which is basically makes engines, uh, used to all be the same company. Uh, the industry started out um, w with the dominant model being vertically integrated. And um, it actually all got blown apart in the 1930s. Uh, with the, I think it was the airmail scandal of 1932, and uh, and the uh, what had happened was um, the early airmail routes were all heavily subsidized uh, by the post office, and so uh, basically United figured out that um, the the public was paying less for postage than they were getting paid to carry stuff, and so they were doing things like mailing bricks. Because uh, they could they could make more money in the volume that way, and so and so the scandal breaks and it, uh, and and all, all, the industry takes the blame and the the uh, I think it was the like Air Mail Act of 1932 said that, well thou thou cannot have an airplane manufacturing company and an airline in the same business unless the FAA says it's okay, uh, and so the industry got split apart and like no one ever looked back. Uh, and now we've evolved into this world where um, there, are, there are different you know, stripes to the, the horizontal integration. There's, there's the airplane manufacturer, and then there's the airline, and then there's the, um, the, the airport, which is based, in most cases are like municipal functions. Um, and what happens is that the, the innovation at the intersection of those happens very, very slowly. So there's, um, you know, if, if you started from scratch and you said, how should baggage work? Like, there's no way you'd come up with what we have now. <laughs> there's just no way. And if you stop it, if you imagine you had control across the airplane and the airport and the airline operation, and you just think about this for five minutes, I'm sure that the group of people in this room would have a, a way better idea before, we, you know, before the evening's out. Um, but you, you can't, um, you, you, there's no go to market path today because the integration isn't there. Um, so I think there's I think there's tremendous value in vertically integrating. I think you vertically integrate over time down all the way towards all the consumer touch points, and then you vertically integrate upstream and, and the the key component technologies. I think propulsion is the most interesting one. Uh, but this is this happens at the level of decades. Uh, it doesn't happen out of the gate. And if you go uh, if you go try to do it full stack as uh, out of the starting gate, which uh, I tried to. <laughs> Um, uh, what you find is you can't get market validation because consumers are not going to like pre-buy tickets 10 years in advance. Um, you know, it's a good day when we pre-buy our tickets like two weeks in advance, right? Uh, uh, on, and on, on one hand. On the other hand, you have to convince investors and, and even more crucially, you have to convince suppliers. You have to convince the Rolls Royces and GEs of the world that, that you've got a product that there's a market for because they're going to invest like a billion before this whole thing comes to fruition. Uh, and uh, trust me, consumers want this isn't good enough. Uh, you have to have you know, credible demand, and then that demand becomes part of the capital story as well, because airlines prepay for their airplanes. So it, so it turns out, it turns out you, need, you need airlines and you need not too much vertical integration on day one, uh, although down, down the road, I think there's a case to be made for it.